hello hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm dj Kell and the antidote if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload a tutorial so i'm back with a tutorial on watch your dj as you can read the title is about mapping how to make your custom mapping on watch your dj if you don't notice mapping is a procedure where you set specific keys on your keyboard to do a function a specific function for instance if you want to maybe play the music just press on the space bar you want to, to press Q just press the C button that's what I mean but you can also set your own uh, the one you're comfortable with so that you can be able to do uh, if you are mixing so that you can be able to mix fast makes your work efficient yeah when you just install what your dj it comes with a already set uh, custom keys on your keyboard like for instance if you want to play the music is use let, let us let uh, i mean use a space bar if you want to move the to wheel the song fast just press on the on the left and right arrows on the keyboard if you want to move the cross fader you press the page up page down those are the the custom keys that usually come installed in the virtual dj but you can change them to your liking so that when you are mixing you can be able to do things faster yeah instead of using the mouse at times the mouse may misbehave for instance you want to maybe you want to to, to select on the play button your mouse may be slow or maybe you it has some issues so pressing on keys is easier than using the mouse so so i'm going to show you the process to that so guys if you also want to learn more about how to install virtual dj how to put lower thirds how to set up the interface to change it you can also check tutorials on my channel if you also want to learn on uh, sony acid sony vegas you can also learn that so i'm going also to show on this tutorial how to make keys on your keyboard for keyboard scratching so i don't usually do that i don't scratch with keyboard i usually use a controller but for due to some request i'm going to show that also so guys i go straight to the tutorial so you first thing you come to the to the settings press on the settings come to controllers Something else you need to know before you go to that, you have to make sure you are, your watch your DJ is licensed. Yeah, you can just come to licenses, check on the this this part. You can see it says already subscribed. If yours is not uh, fully pre fully subscribed, it will be reddish around here, meaning you have some limitation of adjusting it. So uh, make sure you have the full version of it. If you need it, you can find the link to my Telegram channel. Uh, you might find it. Yeah, so you can go to the Virtual DJ website where you can download it. Yeah, so guys, uh, after that, come to your controllers. Now, the, here is yeah, the, the place you are going to adjust the, the keys. If you press on this down drop, you can see the uh, factory, factory default, optional, custom click on the custom because you want to adjust to your liking now you come to the keys the keys are the letters or numbers in your keyboard which so for instance maybe i want to use a letter z to be selecting a, a specific sound uh, effect so i press on the letter z as you can see mine is already configured but you are going to adjust it you come to the after clicking on Z, you come down here, click on this uh, stuff like that looks like a pen. Press on it, then to bring you to the to the interface of the virtual DJ. So I want letter Z to be activating effect number one. So I press on it, and you can see effect acti active. So for, let, let's let's test it if it if it works. Now you have to save it. 
then you close this one so if for instance you are playing the song so let us add a loop out let's press on z so as you can notice i've not moved my mouse if i use my mouse it it would look like this let me just show you so as you can see using the keyboard is much faster than using the mouse so let's go and do another custom setting just go back to the settings come to controllers now uh, let's choose maybe another key for instance if you want to make your the hot cues you know the hot cues to be on a certain letters on your keyboard so uh, let's use uh, maybe you want Q, hot cue number one to be using letter T so you press on T as you can see letter T doesn't have any uh, any action you come to this point press on it come to your hot cue as you can see pad one press on that and you can see letter T is active the action is pad one then you save it and close it how to test it just press on T as you can see it's very simple now you have you have made a hot cue for for pad one to be using letter t on the keyboard very simple now that's very simple if you want to maybe to select you see this is uh, deck a and deck b at times when you're mixing you might want to select which deck you're going to use but using the mouse a bit tedious and you want to do it first so that you can maybe you're blending some song you want to listen to this song yeah you need to have a way that you're going to do your things first so you just come to the same place settings you choose a key for instance maybe you can choose the to use the to maybe the negative or positive sign let's just use the negative sign the keyboard you press on the key come to this point for selecting again press on it come and select letter i mean deck a so as you can see the negative sign selects deck a yeah so if you you just save it now whenever you want to change to deck b just press on it as you can see it is changing deck a deck b as you can see this color change here like that that's how you set it so when you maybe are DJing and you want to maybe to loop out a song on deck A I just uh, maybe you're playing a song on this side let me just show you very quick how, you, how it works let me set this one to show you a demonstration how switching decks can help I just muted the song so that I can make a cue point. So, for instance, let me open the volumes. Now I'm playing. Um, I'm blending two songs, so I want to loop. Uh, uh, to loop out a song in one deck. So, for instance, let's play this one. Then you blend in the other one. So I want to loop out that B that is not selected. So I select it, then I loop out using the command. Yeah, basically that will help you to to, nav to navigate through your virtual DJ. Yeah, most of the time I usually use uh, my controller to to DJ. I don't usually use a keyboard or another thing you should use my controller because it's a bit easier and now i'm used to it so guys i will be getting this question on how to to map your keyboard for djing for i mean for scratching it's a common question i've been getting 
though I don't usually scratch with the keyboard, but I thought it was right to show it because uh, several DJs don't have their starting off, they don't have a controller, so they need to find the uh, their DJ skills using the available materials that is a laptop. So some of you might need to to have some scratches to make your DJing more fun, to sound classy. So you need to make some scratches. So I did some research and I learned how to do it. So I wish to show you also how you can set your scratches. I mean to set your keys on your keyboard to make scratches. So the first thing you need to know yeah, to identify the keys that are nearer to your, easily accessible to your, to your hands on the keyboard. So maybe you may choose a letter, like letter B, N, and M. So you can choose letter H, J, and K. Let's use letter J, I mean letter H, J, and K to set our scratches. The same process, but a bit different, you come to settings. Select the letter you want. I want to select letter H. So for letter H, you're going to do like a bit of coding. Yeah. So you write the word scratch. Scratch. You space. By pressing the space bar. You press on the positive sign of the keyboard. The plus. That is you press the shift plus. Then you write 120. Sorry, 120. MS. Then after that, you save it. You come again. You can just maybe you, you choose you press another letter. That is the letter K. So for letter K, you are going to do the same. You type scratch. You you space. You press on the negative sign on the keyboard. Then after that, you write 120 MS. Then you save it. Then now you you come back to your, you save it again. You, you come back to your controller. I mean to your, in, your virtual DJ interface. Now let, let's test it. Just press on the hot key to if you want to go to the start point. So now you are listening on deck A. So if you press letter H, it will move the the song forward that a K back. So just learn to use to play around with the with the keys like this. Actually I don't I'm not used to DJing using the keyboard. That's why not I'm not good at it. But if you practice I, I know some DJs that have been practicing using the keyboard and so they have fine tuned their skills on their hands scratch using the keyboard but for myself I am good at scratching using a CDJ or a controller so I'm not good at it but if you practice if you wish to practice using the keyboard it will be well and good it will be good good for you so so for this story I was good showing that so if you want to move to move the you press the letter K you move the song backwards G letter H forward yeah, it is all some like some scratch. You can just appreciate it's good for just using the keyboard alone. So you can't compare it by using a a control or CDJ, but it's good for starters. So just play around with H. You just press H K H K like this. Then after you press the H K, you can. After pressing HK, HK, you press the space bar to play the song. So that's how you do it. So just practice, then you can fine tune your skills using your hands. How you can be pressing the keys here and there. Yeah, and you might find yourself making good scratches. Actually, I know some DJs who have practiced the keyboard scratching and uh, yeah, scratches sound actually good, like the CDJ or controller scratches. So for DJing is all about practicing your practice, and uh, the goal is entertaining the the crowd. So it doesn't matter uh, the equipment you are using; all that matters is what you produce, and if your crowd is entertained. 
don't have to be discouraged that you're using just your, your laptop for scratching but what you produce when scratching so so don't don't get discouraged start with what you have as you grow actually myself i started using a uh, laptops to 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 dj actually that point was a uh, watcher dj7 and atomics i think that, uh, that's where i started i came growing i came into serato so that's how you grow guys you start from what you have as you grow forward so guys in case of any question you can always ask in the comment section any add-ons you can always ask in the comment section if you want to contact me directly you can go to the description there is my whatsapp contacts my social media handles you can also inbox me on instagram on facebook yeah so guys if you are new to the channel subscribe hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload a tutorial and in case of any tutorial request always feel free to write on the comment and i'll address it yeah guys if, if you also need some dj drops i shall do the male and female dj drops yeah call it on if you need some samples also i can send them to you via whatsapp so you can listen to them and you can decide if you need them so guys subscribe subscribe share the share the channel to other fellow djs let's support each other so until next time be blessed